Hi there, and thank you so much for watching my subscription tracker video. This is a tutorial on how to use my subscription tracker. So first of all, we have on the left side, we have some pie charts. And the first one on the top shows you how your expenses are divided up. So you've got 15.5% in miscellaneous, 25% TV, 21% music, 21% shopping, and 16% food. Now this will change as you change the items. So say if we change this to shopping, it's going to move things around. Just like this. So um, the next one is the subscription period. So it'll show you how much you're spending per category. So you've got 18% of subscriptions that are annual, 18% that are weekly, and 63% that are monthly. And again, if you change this on here, it will change your pie chart. All right, so at the very top here, we've got the yearly spend. This is the total cost of everything that you're spending in all of your subscriptions. So it's multiplying your weekly cost times 52, it's multiplying your monthly cost times 12 and then adding in your annual ones all together. Uh, this one shows your monthly spend. So this adds up the monthly items, how much you're spending monthly. And this is adding up all the ones that are weekly. So it's adding those up together for you. All right. Uh, we also have a place for payment date. You can click in here to choose the payment date. And then you can also choose the next payment date. You have a place for notes. So if you want to put the password, um, notes, um, you know, adding things you want to purchase from another item, something you want to add to your cart for your next Instacart order, stuff like that. Okay, so let's do an example here. So we've got a subscription. So do a subscription to, we can put the website. And then all of these websites are clickable. So you just click on it and it'll take you straight to your website that you want to go to. Choose your category. And then how often. And then your cost. Say it's $35 monthly. And then you can click in here for your payment date. Or you can also just simply write in a date. Either one would work. So that's how to use the subscription tracker. Another really nice feature is you can also, if you decide you didn't want the heading name, you can change the heading name, double click in here and type in price, stuff like that. And hit enter. Another thing, if you wanted to change the color, I'm going to scroll this up a little bit for you to see. So if you wanted to change the color, you can highlight here, click on the fill color button. You can change it to a different color if you want. So that's how everything works. If you also wanted to print it out, you hit file, print. And then you want to make sure that it goes to, you can go to portrait. So it'll do everything right there for you. And then you want it, it says scale normal, but you want it to fit to width so that it fits everything on the page. And then only the current sheet that you would want to print out as well. So that's how to print it out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you found me on YouTube, um, the description below shows the link of where to purchase this subscription tracker. Thanks so much.